A Dunedin tattoo shop has just dealt with its oldest ever customer. The 79-year-old didn't want a small design, and as Jack Tame reports, it's unlikely many people will want to copy it. Paula Westerby isn't the traditional tattoo type, but for her 80th birthday, this gutsy granny wants a present with a difference. Is it going to hurt terribly much? <laughs> <laughs> well, tattoos don't tickle, you know. She hopes her new tattoo, her first tattoo, will send a simple message to anyone who tries to revive her. If I have a heart attack in the street, I don't want to be resuscitated at my age and possibly live as a stroke victim for years. I just want to be let go, thank you very much. Not that Paula doesn't love life. She's already skydived and says she's been thinking about her tattoo for years. <laughs> I'm going to the execution chamber. I'm just loading the machine up. Adding the needle into it. Yeah, Getting that ready to roll. As the tat table was touched up, she talked font sizes. The biggest? Yeah. The game. Yeah, no, no, no. game. Why do you mean game? <laughs> you mean that'll be worse than Usually that? Usually people go for the smallest. Before yeah. the point of no return. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. And although she felt the pain... It's certainly not nearly as... What I thought it would have been. After just oh, 10 minutes of tattooing, it was done. Have been worth it? Oh, well, I haven't really had a lot, have I? <laughs> oh, well, I'm thrilled. And with that success... No crying, no, no crying at all. She's already thinking of tattoo number two. Jack Tame, One News.